Ahí llega, empezó llega, el cliché. Llega, llega. Oh, Charros, churros, churritos. Good evening, teacher. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hi. How are you guys? How are you today? Hi, teacher. I'm okay, and you? Thank you. What's new, hi, teacher? Hi. hi. It was good. You know, can't complain. Can't complain. I, I had a nice weekend. And you? Okay. Um, oh, relax. We can um, work in the house and the children, the dogs, etc., etc., etc. Okay, that's, <laughs> that's super, right? All right. <laughs> super <Yeah>. woman. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you are. You are. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> okay, guys. Uh, you know, it's nice meeting you again. We're going to begin, and I'm going to start passing attendance, right? So now, as you listen to your name, please help me out and say present. Let's go. Alba? Present. Here, Alali. Present, teacher. Ana de Nora. Ana Stephanie. Ana Stephanie. Brian. Stephanie. Present, teacher. Elvis. Present teacher. Uh, Emerson. Present teacher. Yo Gabriela. Present teacher. Okay. Emerson. Glenda Abigail. Present teacher. Yo Jocelyn. Jose. I'm here. Jose. Jose. Karen? Present. Okay. Eh, sorry, let me say. Okay, can you? I am here, teacher. You is bad. Present. Nancy. Present, teacher. Thank you. I can see Harrison, by the way. Good evening, Harrison. Present, teacher. Thank you, Harrison. Oscar. Oscar. Present. Thank you, Oscar. Ovidio. Ovidio. Here. Raquel. Sandra. Sandra Campos. Sonia. Wilson. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. And Jenny Rodriguez. Jenny Rodriguez. Are you here? Okay. Well, uh, who joined us right now? ¿Quién se quedó a Nadie, solamente Hels, creo yo. Eh, no me mencionó T-shirt. Marco, ok, ya, yeah, thank you. Sorry, Marco. Thank you. Teacher, um, yo no, no dije presente. Present, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Ok. Well, guys, yeah, we're good. Let me see if somebody else is here. Que empezó alguien más sonido. Okay, estamos bien. Perfecto, vamos a in iniciar. How was your weekend, Tammy? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? Excellent. Very nice. Nice, okay. Very good. Nice, teacher. Bien. Yeah. Okay. I'm, you know, I'm happy to be with you again. This is our second week. And let's start. Es nuestra segunda semana, ¿verdad? Que realmente es un placer estar con cada uno de ustedes. Y primero iniciar. Bueno, vamos con eso, ¿verdad? Vamos con eso. La plataforma. Estamos actualizando la plataforma y, bueno, de asistencia de notas. Y podemos observar, ¿verdad? Que hemos avanzado. 
cuando estamos en la sesión 2, como se nos mencionó la semana pasada, sin embargo, hay algunos que no han avanzado. Así que espero que podamos ponernos al día, ¿verdad? Eh, creo que se les va a estar ahí, ustedes, ¿verdad? Se les va a estar comunicando para hacer que todo está bien. Y, ¿verdad? Es muy importante que vayamos completando. Eh, si nos hemos atrasado por otras circunstancias, pues está bien, pero para recuerden de ir completando y esta semana debemos tener completo hasta la sección 3. Sección 1, 2 y 3 y el Mitra. ¿verdad? Eso está próximo para esta semana, semana 2, y debe estar completo hasta ahí. Es que si nos hemos quedado posiblemente en la sección 1, que seguir. De hecho, creo que no sé si... Se Sorry, algún... teacher. ¿Hasta dónde dijo que hay que tener terminado esta semana? Hasta la sección 3. Ok. Entonces, y el examen de, de, med, de, de mitad, ¿verdad? Perdón, de, de módulo. Ok. El midterm. Sí. Y, como lo mencionaba hace un momento, ¿verdad? Y hay algunos participantes que no se me han quedado. Simplemente en, la, en, la, en las primeras... Sección, de hecho, déjenme darle un vistazo rapidito. Voy a dejar de compartir. Solo para ver si posiblemente está avanzado durante la tarde. Y darle eso, pues. Permítanme. Conocemos bastante bien. Sí, muy bien. Eh, dos de participantes son los que se me han quedado en la sección 1. Que estamos conscientes, ¿verdad? De que hace falta. Vamos, sigamos. Ahora es muy importante que demos. Repito, es la sección 3 esta semana, semana 2 y el meter. Vamos a hacer esta semana, el jueves específicamente. Mientras yo estaría explicando de qué ser, etc. Para que ustedes sean listos el jueves con el meter. Y la repetición, ¿verdad? De la sesión 3, que es la última. De esta semana, ¿verdad? Específicamente. De la próxima semana iniciaremos con la sección 4 y posteriormente en la última semana sería la sección 5. Así de esa forma, ¿verdad? Vamos a ir trabajando durante esas semanas, ¿verdad? Que, que se vienen. Ahora bien, quizás a veces preguntas, ejercicios, desarrollo de la plataforma, etc. ¿Todo bien? ¿Inconveniente? Por aquí vi un mensajito de algunos participantes. Empezar. Oh, sí. Sí, una de ellas es Jennifer. No hay problema. Bueno, eh, no sé si alguien más se nos ha unido. Yo, yo no acabo de unir. Oh, Sandra, hello, good evening, thank you. How are you, Sandra? I'm fine, thank you. And you? Okay, thank you. I'm doing well, thank you for us. ¿Quién, ¿Quién más, además de... Es Sandra. ¿De más? Creo que solamente. Sí, vamos, vamos ya con la clase. Bueno, preguntas, dudas, todo bien con los ejercicios. No hay ninguna duda. No hemos tenido ningún, ningún inconveniente, perdón. Teacher, yo solo el 1.10, o sea, el ejercicio todo, la última fue la que me, no, por más que lo ordené, no me, no me dio. Excelente. <risa> Ahorita revisamos. Creo que es el que, el que han tenido problemas la mayoría. Ahora bien, ¿qué vamos a hacer acá? Recuerden que hay que descifrar las preguntas. Lo primero, siempre les recomiendo a todos de las instrucciones. Ahí está la clave. Yo sé que lo han hecho, pero recalco. Eh, hay que descifrar las preguntas para completar las conversaciones. Es decir, las palabras que están dadas se van a utilizar y se van a ordenar para construir esa pregunta. Hay que tener en cuenta que en ese tipo de ejercicios, esas preguntas que se nos dan, ya tenemos las respuestas. 
hay que guiarnos ahí. Si no tenemos la pregunta, pero tenemos la respuesta, hay que prestar atención a la respuesta y con base en eso responder. ¿verdad? Ahora bien, tenemos el ejemplo, ¿verdad? El ejemplo, la respuesta es, yes, I exercise every day. Es la respuesta. Tenemos yes, que es una pregunta yes, no, right? yes, no question. Entonces la pregunta debe ser, son las palabras acá, dadas, la pregunta debe ser, do you exercise every day? That's it. Recuerden que acá, según la excepción, no hay que utilizar los signos de interrogación. El signo de interrogación al final. No hay que usarlo porque es dado. Según el sistema ya está dado, entonces no hay que incluirlo nuevamente. Simplemente si lo incluimos, ese es el error, que la pregunta es buena. Pero sabemos, ¿verdad? Claro que cuando estamos escribiendo o construyendo preguntas, hay que utilizarlo siempre. Eh, Wilson, antes de seguir, una pregunta. Eh, no, teacher, yo solamente iba a decir eso, que a mí también me daba error en las preguntas, aunque las ordenara bien, pero era por, por eso del signo de interrogación, que no hay que ponerlo como ya está puesto. Exacto. Perfecto. Uh -huh. Thank you. Eh, hello. Bien. Thank you. Hello, Jocelyn, by the way. Good evening. Thank you, Wilson. Muchas gracias, Wilson. You're welcome. I can see Jocelyn. Hello, Jocelyn. Good evening. Hope you're good, Jocelyn. Thank you for joining. En la última, para nos, nos, está la siguiente forma, ¿verdad? It says, yes, we play soccer on Saturdays. And the words are, right? On weekends, you and your friends do play sports. Right. So, what you have to do, you know, you, you always need to do is to identify the subject, right? And the verb. Hay que siempre hacer para una pregunta, sea una oración incluso, siempre hay que enfocarnos en el sujeto, subject, and the verb, y el verbo. Esa es la clave. Okay. Subject in this case is you and your friends, right? You and your friends. Y el verbo sería play. So you say, do your, you, sorry, you and your friends uh, play. Sports. Yes. It's not just no question, right? Do you and your friends play sports? Yes. This is Y recordemos que no hay que dar otra cosita que estaba mencionando ahora por la tarde yo. Es que no debemos de, en el sistema o en la plataforma en sí, cuando hacemos ejercicios en línea, hay que ser bien cuidadosos. Porque el sistema en sí ya tiene una respuesta. ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted, por ejemplo, le da un espacio, entonces el sistema posiblemente toma que un espacio es porque otra letra o hay otra palabra. Entonces, le damos espacio, posiblemente tome otra palabra, ¿verdad? Entonces, automáticamente al darle enviar, ese va a ser un error, aunque la pregunta es igual. Es que hay que tener cuidado y al solo escribir la última palabra, o se se mueve la siguiente vacía. Y le da enviar. Entonces, esos son los posibles errores que, que hay, ¿verdad? No es que la la respuesta es semana, sino que hay que ser cuidadoso en ese aspecto con el sistema. Teacher, otro problema que puede darse es el uso del apóstrofe. Mm, también. Que, ajá, que a veces no se pone y cuando se es contratado, pues por lo general, no lo, si no lo pone uno, lo, no lo reconoce la respuesta. Thank you. Exacto, esa es una situación. La otra es que utilizamos el incorrecto en el teclado. A veces es bien difícil encontrarlo, yo sé. Me ha pasado. Según el teclado cambia, ¿verdad? Entonces, el, el apóstrofo, el apóstrofe, en, en los teclados, por lo general, aparecen al lado del cero. ¿verdad? El teclado numérico de arriba. Bueno, están los otros car caracteres, pero también. Entonces, el apóstrofo está a la parte del cero. No es la tilde, la tilde es la que está a la par de la P, ¿verdad? Según el teclado. Eso, eso me pasó a mí en, en 
una ocasión que en vez del apóstrofe estaba poniendo el acento. Entonces, por eso me, daba, me daba error la, la oración. Sí, también pasa eso. Si es que no se preocupen, son errores de teclado, de caracteres, ¿verdad? Entonces, eso no se preocupen. Lo que sí les recomiendo es que tengan, ¿verdad? Sepan dónde está el, el, el apóstrofe, ¿verdad? Apóstrofe, que está la parte de cero. No sé, claro, creo que la mayoría está ahí, no se mueve. Eh, pues si en el caso su, su teclado sea bien complejo, pues en, ese, en, es, en esos casos lo que yo recomiendo, para lo que yo en lo personal hacía, cuando me encontraba un carácter en el teclado, posiblemente lo veía, pero le daba y nada. Lo que hacía es que me iba a Google, San Google. Dice Google and... Bueno, buscar la combinación ah, para poderlo sacar. La combinación o buscaba, eh, lo ponía así, apóstrofe. Y de aquí lo copiaba. Yo también hice lo mismo. Así lo pueden hacer. A no complicarse. <ríe> Excelente. Pues esa ya, la... ya revisé la oración esa y solo una S me hacía falta. Ah. <ríe> de no worries. Sport, eh, solo había puesto Sport, entonces la S, solo con la S me, es lo que me estaba dando error. Yeah. Yeah. No. Tien, tiende, 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 tiende a pasar esos pequeños errorcitos, pero tranquilos, solo hay que revisar la escuela en bien. La escuela. Nancy. Good evening, teacher. Sí, comentar también de que a veces da el problema de cuando uno da espacio, tal vez se van dos espacios en, en, de palabra en palabra y eso ya lo toma como mala la respuesta. A mí me Exacto. ha pasado muchas veces. Exacto, aunque la, aunque la pregunta o la respuesta esté correcta. Eso no Así es. Que la respuesta esté correcta, pero le damos doble espacio, solo le damos uh -huh. dos, tres sí. a veces, cuatro. A depender. Y por eso les recomiendo que mejor solo termine la última palabra y se mueva de casilla. Eso. Solamente eso. Esas son posibles, ¿verdad? Situaciones que cuando no están muchas veces en nuestras manos, en su control, tranquilos. Solo hay que revisar bien el spelling y ese tipo de situaciones. Bueno, y let's continue. Any questions? No sé si hay preguntas. ¿Estamos bien? The topic for today is furniture, right? We will learn vocabulary related to furniture. Class number five, today is Monday, March 21st. Let's start. Let me introduce the vocabulary. This is furniture. Furniture. What is furniture? Furniture. Okay, furniture is large movable equipment that you have in your house, right? In your house, an apartment, in the office, etc. So that is furniture, large movable equipment. For example, sofa, television, table, those are pieces of furniture, okay? Listen, listen to the vocabulary and then we're going to practice. Listen first, listen first. Armchairs, 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 stop, stop, curtains, 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 pictures, pictures, clock, clock, bed, bed. Table, table, coffee table, coffee table, microwave oven, microwave oven, refrigerator, listen, refrigerator, refrigerator, this is a difficult word, refrigerator, refrigerator, lamps, Lamps, sofa, sofa, desk, desk, bookcase, bookcase, dresser, dresser, chairs, 
cares. Mirror, mirror, rock, rock, and television. Television, we can say TV. It is here. Television or TV. Alili? Yes, teacher. Uh, ¿Por qué ru la alfombra cuando a veces se llama carpet? Both are correct, Alili. You can say carpet or you can say rock. Rock. Oh, los dos, carpet, correct. Yes, rock. Okay. Okay. Yeah, Thanks. carpet or rock. It's a pleasure. Somebody else questions about the vocabulary before, you know, practice questions. Preguntas, dudas. Let's go again. Listen and practice. Listen and practice. Armchairs. 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 Stop. 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 Yeah. Listen. Curtains. 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 What is the curtains? Curtains. 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 No. No. Curtains. What is the cur curtains? Listen, 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 listen first. What is the curtains? Curtains. curtains. What is the curtains? Curtains. 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 Pictures. Pictures. Clock. 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 Bed. 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 Table. 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 Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Coffee table. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Microwave oven. Okay, listen to this. Listen to this one because this is difficult. Refrigerator. 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 Ah, sí, César, ¿cómo no? Refrigerator. 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 Exactly. Exactly. Refrigerator. Yes. Refrigerator. 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 Good, good. Practice, practice more. No worries. Practice more. This is a difficult word. It's a palabra que tiende a usar un poquito. Es como trabajar lengua. Refrigerator. Son los lenguas la traba, como decir. Refrigerator. Refrigerator. At the end, it's like. Later. 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 Dumb. Sofa. 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 Sofa.
And television. And television. 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 Yeah. Television. 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 Yeah, it's uh, in other words, TV. It's simple, right? It's easy. TV. 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 <laughs> okay. This is furniture. This is furniture, right? These are large mobile equipment, right? And this is used, right? At how in your house in your house, sorry. Uh, apartments, offices, because you know you want your house to look nice, right? Beautiful. Okay. So this is furniture. Right? Questions? For example, I have I have a bed, I have a closet. You cannot see it. You cannot see my you know my pieces of furniture, right? Because I have the, the background, right? But you know, in my room, in my bedroom. I have a bed, a closet, I a have television, TV. a TV, exactly. I have a cabinet, a, a window, right? Curtains, etc. So those are my pieces of furniture in my bedroom. In my bedroom. Of course, in your house, you have more, 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 right? Pieces of furniture. Okay. You, you will practice, you will practice, you will express the pieces of furniture that you have in your houses in a moment. Oh, the teacher? Yep, sorry. Uh, the parts in the living room is a sofa, a table, a coffee table, a bookcase, art chairs in sofa. Yes, again, that is the way. Excellent. Okay. okay. Have it in mind. Having in mind the ideas that Alali is giving us, right? You know, I want you to keep in mind this too. Quiero que recordemos esto, parts of the house, right? House, living room, bedroom, kitchen, dining room, bathroom, specifically those ones, okay, right now. This ones, living room, bedroom, kitchen, and dining room. We're gonna focus on those four, okay? Those four rooms. Vamos a enfocarnos en esas cuatro. No, perdón, no, parte de la casa. Living room, bedroom, kitchen, and dining room. Okay? We're going to express what we have in our rooms, right? Or, or in those rooms. Okay? Vamos a expresar qué tenemos, qué podemos encontrar en esos lugares. Living room, bedroom, kitchen, and Bang your run. Okay? Very good. Questions again? Preguntas? Oh. Yes, teacher. What is the difference between a desk and a dresser? Oh, okay. Yeah, going back. A desk is a uh, it's a piece of equipment that people use right now to, to do, you know, let's say some some homework. Uh, they write some things, right, in their notebooks, etc. So you put your computer, for example, in my case, I have a desk, right? I have a desk. I put my computer, right? I, in some cases, I take notes, right? I do my, my task, etc. That is a desk. A dresser is a piece of equipment or a furniture in which you store your clothes, your t-shirts, your jeans, your underwear, skirts, dresses, etc. That is a dresser. Does it make sense? Yeah? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. So in, in the desk, we used to work and dresser we used to save our clothes exactly there you go bingo thank you you're welcome you know desk most of the times people have this right people have this in their houses because 
they work, right? Or they do the task okay, on weekends, etc. In my case, I have a desk. Just I use it. This is my my work area, right? My work area. So I have my laptop over here, okay, my notebook, my cell phone, and other things from pencils, pencils, pens, etc. Right? That is a desk. Dresser is a place or it's a piece of furniture where I store clothes, my right? clothes, my shirts, jeans, shorts. Center, okay, that's the question. Somebody else, questions about this or about this? No one else. No, so far, so good. Yeah, some momentum. Okay, we're going to practice. Now, oh, yeah. if, sorry, okay, good. Now, everybody, listen, listen first. In your notebooks, in your notebooks, you need to express what you have in your drums. First, write, right, write down what you have in your drums, and then you're going to express okay, what you have in your rooms, which ones? Like I said before, right, my living room, my dining room, my kitchen, and my bedroom, okay? Four rooms. My living room, my dining room, my kitchen, and my bedroom, okay? For example, my living room, I need to follow those instructions, right? You know, because it is as an instructor as. My living room has sofa, coffee table, and a television. Only that. Okay, I can say my dining room has a table, a vase, and four chairs. Okay, my dining room has a table, a vase, and four chairs. That's it. Okay. That's what my room had, my den room had, sorry. Really? Teacher, excuse me, who is a base? A base. A base is a is a thing that you have in your in, in your table and you have flowers, for example. Flowers. That is like a decoration. That is a base. Okay. Makes in sense? my day okay. In my dining rooms is a court times. Okay, my dining room has. Remember to follow the structure, Arlie. No. La, la my dining room has a court times, um, bookcase, uh, art chairs, um, television, uh, coffee table. And rule or carpet. You say armchairs, right? Armchairs. Armchairs. Or Car you um. have listen, you have to be careful, right? When writing the, the ideas. Tenemos que ser cuidadosos cuando escribimos las ideas, ¿eh? Las estructuras hay que okay. seguirlas. Y siempre que tener cuidado con singular and plural nouns, right? We cannot say a court. cannot say carpet. No, listen, we cannot say a court. Curtains. Okay. You don't say that because curtains is plural. It's a plural. So, okay. Yeah. We cannot say, a, for example, an armchair. Archaya. Yes. No, this is plural. Right. So you follow this order, right? Most of the time we, we start with singular things and we have plural okay. things, right? Okay. Okay. Remember the tiempo. When we present the ideas, take cuidado. Vamos de lo, por decirlo así, de lo, de lo singular al plural, ¿verdad? My dining room has a bookcase, television, coffee table, armchairs, and curtains. Ese es el orden, ¿verdad? Hay que respetarlo siempre. Ah, ok. Y de plural. Ok. 
Thank you. That's why that's why you're welcome. That's why I said my dining room has a table, a base, and I said four chairs, right? I don't say and a chairs, right? No, this is not possible. Say four chairs, right? Luna. Oh, oh teacher, um lamps. Or lamps, yeah, we can say lamps too, very good. It's plural. Yes, yes, it is, it is. Okay. And lamps. Lamps, okay. Yeah. That is a way, very good. If, for example, another example, and then you, you're gonna start working. My kitchen has stuff, a refrigerator, a, a microwave oven, microwave oven, um, it's a stove. Some cabinets. A stove is over here. Stop. Very good. Very good. Some cabinets and let's say what? Three windows. That's the way. All right. So kitchen has a stove, a refrigerator, microwave oven, some cabinets, and three windows. Okay, so yeah, we can we can include shares. Chairs and the Stop. The first one. Stop. Yeah, and chase, but chase, chase. How does it pronounce it? Chase. Chairs. Chair. Listen. 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 Chairs. 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 What, what yeah. do you mean? Cabinets. Cabinets. Uh, those are the ones that uh, for you uh, store, right? Store the, the products, for example. So that's where you guard the products. That's, how do you say? Cabinets. So, what do you say? Well, we can say cabinets. Pantry, right? You can say pantry. Oh, pantries. Pantries. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. That is the way. Uh, sorry, I can see some people. Uh, oh, I think Nancy. Teacher, uh, how do you say uh, lavaplatos? Oh, you can say dishwasher. 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 Okay, very good, that's it. Uh, dishwasher, sorry. Okay, guys, any questions? I need you to write in your notebooks following these structures, the things that you have in your rooms, right? In your living room, dining room, kitchen, and the bedroom. Follow the examples, follow the first example and the examples given out here. I'm going to send them to you in the chat so you can use them. Please go ahead, right now to your time. To your time and write your examples in your notebooks. And then you're going to express to the whole class. Okay, primero vamos a escribir y luego vamos a expresar nuestras ideas a los demás, okay? If you finish, please raise your hands, all right? Finalizamos, levantemos la mano. Creo que en su caso Lili tenía levantada la mano de la pregunta anterior. No sé si tenía otra pregunta. Yes, teacher, excuse me, please. It's okay, it's okay, no worries. Go ahead, let's start working. If you have some questions, let me know. Si hay preguntas, vamos a ver. Yeah. Teacher, how do you say cafetera and mm. uh, licuadora? You can say coffee machine and you can Tostador. say blender and the toaster. Coffee machine, blender, and toaster. Okay. You're welcome. Teacher, yes. how do you say ventilador? A fan. Like a, you know, fan. <laughs> that is ventilador. Uh, let me see. Elvis, yeah? I think you have a question. Yeah. Ah, so if I can make it for it. Coffee machine, yeah. blender. Yes, right. Go ahead. I'm sorry? 
Do you have a question? Yeah. Like, yeah. No. No. Long okay. Time. Ah, okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. Okay, in a moment, we're, we're going to listen to you. Okay. Give me a second. Oh, listen, sir. Uh, Elvis, yeah, tell me. My living room has a TV, a sofa, desk, and some chairs. Excellent. My bedroom has two beds, a window, a dresser, and closet. My kitchen has microwave oven, a stove, a table, and refrigerator. My dining room has four chairs, a table, and a base. Thank you, Elvis, for the examples. We appreciate. Uh, remember, everybody, practice. We practice with the word refrigerator, right? I know that that's a tough word. Estamos practicando con la palabrita. Pensa para lo que tenemos que decir que es difícil. Okay, I siempre send one example in the chat. If you can send examples in the chat, it's okay, right? Pero si podemos enviar ejemplos en el chat, ¿verdad? Mandémoslos. Se nos va a ser bien difícil escucharlos a todos, pero por el tiempo. A mí me gustaría, pero es bien difícil. Es bien difícil. Tenemos tiempo, pero tenemos otra actividad. Entonces, se puede decir, my dining room has a coffee table, a sofa, a, a curtains, a mirror, and a television. Yeah, just one observation, Stephanie. You don't say a curtains. You say curtains on like this. We cannot say a curtains because it's plural. This is incorrect. We we'll say curtains. This is right. This is plural. Only that, Stephanie. Only that. Okay. By the way, can you can you tell us the example, please? Say it, please. Say it. Dígalo. Curtains. 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 Very good. Thank you, Symphony. Marco sent one example. My dining room has a table for chairs and two pictures. Okay. Awesome. Thank you, Marco. Marco, tell me that example, please. Can you say the example? Díganos el ejemplo que envío por chat, please. Uh, of course, of course. My dining room has a table, four chairs, and two pictures. Yes, excellent. Thank you. I think you're ready. You have a question. Tell me. My living room has a sofa, television, and a stove. My dining room has a table, curtains, and six chairs. My kitchen, my, my kitchen has a microwave oven, refrigerator. Windows and some cabinet. My bedroom has a bed, dresser, television, eh, nice, no sé si está bien esa, nice stand and windows. What do you mean when you say nice stand? ¿Qué quiere mencionar con nice, nice stand? Mesa de noche. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, night table, night table, night table. It's okay. The better for me, Karen. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Dining room. Curtains. 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 
Okay. Refrigerator. <laughs> refrigerator. 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 Exactly. Let's wait here. Better for me, microwave oven. Micro, microwave oven. Exactly. Oven, oven, oven. oven. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Karim, for the examples. Okay, so for instance, another example, my kitchen has a refrigerator, microwave oven, some, I think some chairs, right? A clock and a table, okay? Hey, I remember, yeah, Stephanie, some chairs, right? Some chairs, without the A, because I can see the A. Some my chairs, some without the A. Sin la, verdad, es plural. Glenda Abigail, my bedroom has a bed, sofa, dresser, mirror, window, and another table. Yes, very good. Thank you. Just one thing, guys. Tengamos cuidado, conocemos digitando, ¿verdad? Sé que a veces quizás se nos va eh, en algunas palabritas. Remember that in English we don't use tildes, right? It doesn't exist. Tildes no, no existe en inglés. Me imagino que se, ahí se les fue, ¿verdad? Quizás el corrector. But it's okay. It's okay. Just be careful, right? Be careful. Okay. Well, is somebody else? Or more volunteers? Nancy, please. Thank you. Okay. In my living room has a sofa, a coffee table, a picture, a room, and a television. In my in my dining room has a table, a five five chairs, and a picture. In my kitchen has a stove, a refrigerator, a microwave, a coffee machine, and a blender. In my, in my bedroom has a bed, a closet, a lamp, a television, a window, and a night table. Excellent. Thank you. Nancy, just one observation. Uh, in these cases, Nancy, we're using these instructions, right? My living room has, okay? In ese caso, estamos utilizando esa estructura, para. Okay? And when you say, Nancy, in my living room is different. You cannot say has. In my living room has, because you have a, a preposition. You have a preposition. In ese caso, no se puede decir in my living room has. Hay una preposición, ¿verdad? No es un sujeto, sí. Y en estos casos, y eso es lo que vamos a ver mañana. En esos casos, cuando usted dice in my living room, es diferente. Lo puede decir, pero de otra forma. Eso es lo que vamos a ver mañana. There is an hour. In my living room, coma, there is a table. Yeah, there is a coffee table. So, uh, Sofa, etc. So in this case, we use there is. And it's different, right? In my living room, there is. And this one's different. My living room has. Okay? okay Be careful. Very good. Thank you. The two, the, you know, both ways are correct. Ambos, ambas formas son correctas. La diferencia es que tenemos variación. Here's up, yeah. Sí, no es que no me había quedado claro. Pensé que, que el in era como una preposición que condicionaba la estructura, pero ya lo explicó usted que sí, de las dos formas es correcta. Ese, esa era, esa era mi, mi duda, pero ya la, ya la, ya la respondió. Excelente. Well, actually, you know, in is a preposition, Gerson. Eh, Hola. In, in, in is a preposition. In is a preposition. Yeah. Eh, in es una preposición, de hecho. ¿Ah? Y acá, claro, modifica, modifica el significado. In my living room 
So that is a place, right? It's a prepositional phrase. So now, also not plus a prepositional, it's a gasoline. Is it, you say my living room has, it's, it's a, that is a sentence, right? My living room subject, and then the verb. Ahí es diferente, porque es un sujeto y un verbo. The other so one, living room, is a prepositional phrase. It's a, it's a place, right? A place. Very good. It's so all the correct. Ambos son correctos. Yes. Sí. Sí, sí. Sí, me queda claro. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, listen. Because I will move on to the next activity. Uh, I will ask you to send your examples, please, in the chat. Can you send the examples, please? Tenemos enviando ejemplos, los que hagan falta. Please, dámelo por chat. Si quieren participar, háganlo saber con gusto. And we're going to continue with the next part. We're going to go on talking about furniture, right? Furniture. So I have a conversation, okay? Look at the conversation is on. We're going to listen and practice for the classmates. We have another conversation. Again, we have Chris and Linda, right, Chris and Linda. And they are discussing about furniture, right? In the apartment, in the apartment. Chris and Linda, listen to the conversation, please. Listen, and then we're going to practice together, okay? First, listen, first, listen. It says, Chris and Linda, this apartment is great. Thanks, I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Uh, oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, water is in the table, and there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There's only this lab. So let's go shopping next weekend. Okay. That's the way we express you know, about furniture, right? In a place, in a house, in an apartment, in a room, in the office. It depends. It depends the scenario. Okay. Questions about a conversation? Pregunta con respecto a la conversación. Quiero participar en la lectura. Oh, okay, okay, good. Here. Eh, before to practice questions, antes de practicar preguntas. Everybody? No? I have any question. Dame, dame. Uh, Hay dos negaciones acá y, y yo las vi en el material después. Uh, there's no sofá y luego aparece there aren't. No sé si las dos son negaciones porque una mm -hmm. solo tiene un no y el otro tiene un not. Yeah. There aren't. <laughs> Any shares, and there's no, there's no so far. Yeah, both are negative weights, and both are correct. There's no so far. Okay. Ambas son negaciones. Ambas son correctas. There aren't any shares. That is in plural, and the other one is in singular. There is no sofa. There is no sofa. Okay. What's the difference? What is the difference? Well, mm, well in this case, when you say there aren't any shares, this is in plural, right? There aren't any shares. It's in plural, right? And we use specifically the way not, right? Or not. Or are it is a contraction. Esa es la, la forma contractada. The long form is are not. Are not, right? And, you know, we're following the structure, right? The structure. But this one, uh, there's no sofa. 
you know, in other words, we have there is not, uh, there is not, there is not. This is correct. And we have negation at the same time. But this is in singular, right? A specific has singular, right? And this is in general. There's no sofa. Okay? What's that correct? Si, si es singular, basta con que lleve no, simplemente. Y yeah. si es plural, debe llevar not. Yes, exactly. Mm, not exactly in this way, my friend, because you can say there isn't a sofa. There isn't a sofa. And this one you're following is not. It's not. So we're following in the, the structure, right? There is not. And this one say just there is not. There is not. And it's the same. We have you know, negation. Negation. This is correct. This is plural. This is plural. And this is singular. It's a singular. Okay. Okay. Does it make sense? Yeah. Teacher, the traducción de la primera, there are any sharing? Eh, well, in this case, we're referring to things that doesn't exist in your room. Doesn't exist. I mean, things Pero that la, don't la exist. Español? <laughs> okay, no, 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 no quería hacer eso, pero bueno, se lo pide. <laughs> Una equivalencia es como no, no hay sillas. No hay sillas. No hay sillas. Okay. So we're talking about things that don't exist in a room. Okay. Does it make sense, Emerson? Es como decir, aquí no hay sillas. No exactly aquí. No hay, no hay sillas. Solo, solo no hay. Es, es por exactly. el verbo. Exactly, exactly. Le, 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 excelente, excelente. Gracias por la pregunta. Solo le recomiendo el audio. Emerson y a todos, ¿verdad? No, vamos a traducciones. Tantas traducciones, ¿verdad? Porque eso nos confunde, ¿verdad? Puede confundir. No es que no, aquí no hay, ¿verdad? Que no hay. Si empieza aquí, es diferente, ¿verdad? Pero no están utilizados, ¿no? We say there aren't. There aren't any chairs. No hay sillas. No, no hay sillas. No hay sillas. No puedo ver a mi alrededor. Veo a mi alrededor, perdón. No hay sillas, ¿verdad? There aren't any chairs. In other words, vamos a ver eso mañana. We express. Eh, we use there is and the arm to express things that exist and don't exist. Um, in a place. We use there is and the are, well there is, there isn't, there are and there aren't to express things that exist and don't exist in a place. For example, if you say, there aren't any chairs in my room, in my room, that is a place, right? my room. expresando acerca de mi lugar, cuarto, mi habitación. There aren't any chairs in my room. So I'm expressing things that don't exist in my room. Estoy mencionando ¿verdad? cosas que no existen o no las tengo en mi cuarto. Ok. Ok, teacher. Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure, Marcio. Thank you for asking. Ok, we're going to practice with the conversation. Eh, Karen, you will help me with the conversation. You will be Linda and I'm going to be Chris. Let's go on the camera three. One, two, three. This apartment is great. Adam? Thanks. I love it. But I really need some furniture. What do you need? Continue. Adam. 
Hola, hola. Are you here? Can you? Me escuchan. Yes, I can, I can. Sí, sí le escucho. Me toca a Linda. Yes, hey. what, do you, what do you need? Ah. What do you need? Okay. Oh, I need lots of things. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's a, and there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only this lamp. So let's go shopping this weekend. Okay, thank you. Karen, we're going to listen to Cesar in in Lili. I saw Lili first. Luego vamos a escuchar a uh, one, one more observation, one more observation. Uh, Emerson, continue with your question. When you say there is no sofa here, it's different, right? In that case, you say, no oh, hay sofa acá, o aquí. That case is like that, right? There's no sofa here in the living room. Okay, Emerson. There's no sofa here, Emerson. There's no sofa here in the living room. In that case, like you let's say, or the no I so far ka. Hey Emerson. Thank you. And sí, ahí sí sería no, aquí no hay literalmente como se como se escucha en español, ¿verdad? Aquí no hay sofá, pero en realidad sería no hay sofá, literalmente, como mm -hmm. un algo tácito. Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Very good. Okay, okay let's go with Aleli and Cesar. Aleli, you will be Linda and of course Cesar you will have to be Cesar. Okay. <laughs> no, pues, this, apart this apartment is great. Thanks. I love it, but I really need some furniture. What do you need? Oh, I need lots, I think. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there is some table. And there's no sofa here in the living room. And there aren't any chairs, there's only this lamp. So let's go shopping this weekend. Yes. Yes. Thank you guys. Okay. okay, let's go with the last participants. I'm gonna go with Nancy and Emerson. Not that right. Uh, Nancy, you will help us. Listen, we're gonna switch roles. Nancy, you will be Chris, and Emerson, you will be Linda. I want to come back to roles. Let's start, Nancy. Go ahead. Uh, well, yeah, I could listen to, to Nancy. I guess she's having some issues. Nancy, repeat again, please. What are you? Thanks. I love it. But really need some for turning. What do you need? Oh, I need lots of time. There are some chairs in the kitchen, but there isn't a table. And there's no sofa in the living room. And there aren't any chairs. There is only the slum. So let's next weekend. Thank you. Uh, Emerson, repeat it for me. Furniture. 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 Yes. Uh, next, chairs. 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 Let me see. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, lots, lots of things. Lots of Love things. Of steam. Love of steam. Yes, thank you. Uh, I forget the word. Oh, Nancy. Nancy, repeat it for me. Apartment. 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 Yes. Okay, thank you. Well, guys, because of the time, you know, it's time. Vamos a quedarse acá por el, por el tiempo, pero siempre invitarle, ¿verdad? A seguir practicando. 
eh, lo que hacemos en clase, claro, y por su parte, si es cierto, estamos a la orden, seguir trabajando en la plataforma, por favor, eh, completar hasta la sección 3 durante esta semana, y irnos preparando para el meter. Si ya lo hicimos, pues excelente, no se preocupen. Eh, y recuerden, hay que seguir practicando, la conversación, por ejemplo, vamos a esa, posiblemente cambiar algunas ideas, y claro, con lo anterior también, ¿verdad? Practicar, si lo podemos enviar por chat, envíenlo, yo voy a estar revisando, ¿verdad? Estoy revisando por ahí, lo que entonces también yo les hago saber. Okay, no sé si hay preguntas, dudas. ¿Todo bien? Sí. Yes. Solo para asegurar que será... Bueno, voy a pasar nuevamente a Lisa, a los que no he, he mencionado. Ana y Nora. Presente. Y Josué. Ovidio. Raquel. En Jenny. La señora Jenny. No, no. Okay. Well, guys, eh, this is all for today. This is all for today. If you have some questions, please let me know. I will see you tomorrow. Have a good night. Blessings to you and your family. Take care a lot. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good night, Thank you. teacher. See you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Sure. See you tomorrow, guys. Bye bye. bye. See you tomorrow, too, guys. Sure. Bye bye, bye, bye guys. Bye. Thanks. Goodbye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Goodbye. Goodbye. Got him. Bye bye. <laughs>